How's it going? Chris Graham here for Wheel of Betting again. Uh, Premier League chat now. Three bets as ever from England's top division. Um, two out of three last time, two weeks ago. I think it's hard this week though, and I'll be, I'll be you know, no delight with two out of three, but, but comparatively um, content with two out of three this week. Really difficult fixture list, especially after the international break as well, which is always something to factor in the proceedings. I'll start with a game on Saturday at 3pm. It's Man City against Swansea. In my word, Man City are in a bit of a hole at the moment. Just one win in six um, in all comps. Um, a woeful month, you'd have to say. They beat Man United, but in between that and the Premier League, of course, they, um, they, they lost to West Ham and then dropped points against the Queen's Park Rangers two weeks ago. Of course, they've not been knocked out of the Kappa One Cup by Newcastle. And on top of all that, uh, look like they're heading out of the Champions League once again in this uh, opening stage after uh, just taking one point in a six from CSK Moscow, which is quite frankly abysmal. So uh, they're, they're in a bit of a mess. How will they fare here on Saturday? They're home to Swansea. Uh, I really don't know, to be honest. I really don't know. You, you're looking at the form and looking at um, the gut feel would be that they, they might toil to victory. Uh, but you, you never know, after the international break, last time they, they, they thrashed Spurs at home. Uh, so I think they are capable of racking up a big scoreline here, but I'm just no confident what kind of Man City could turn up here. Of course, we've seen them lose to Stoke at home earlier in the campaign, and they're just no convincing at the moment. So instead, I will, um, I'll will get involved with their opponent, Swansea, who have been fantastic this season. Um, the thing with Swansea is that they're getting results against the big sides they've Beaten Arsenal two weeks ago, they beat Man United in the opening day of the season. Uh, they, they scored twice at Stamford Bridge as well. Um, really, really good side. They deserve to be in the top five without any doubt, uh, Gary Monk's side. And I, I'll back them here just to score. Simple as that. Over 0.5 goals for Swansea. 7 to 10. I appreciate it's a short price, but I think it's fair enough. Like I say, as we've seen, they, they've, they've tend to. The game. They've improved their game when they take on the big sides. I think they're definitely capable of registering here at the Etihad on Saturday. I'm back on them to score at 7-10. to 10. Game 2, another short price, but don't worry. Uh, pick 3 is a bigger price, that's for sure. Um, Stoke against Burnley, really simple stuff here for me. Um, how, I, how I sort of looked at this was, you know, if this was Swansea against Burnley or Southampton against Burnley, what price would they be? I think Southampton, for me, would be around the 2-5 to five mark at home at Burnley. Swansea, I think for me, would be 8-15 to 15 at home at Burnley. I don't think Stoke are miles off these sides, certainly not Swansea. So to see prices, you know, kicking in the 7-10 mark, 8-11 to 11 mark, you know, I just have to get involved. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. Um, they're up in ninth. After beating Spurs two weeks ago, having a, a good season, you know, inconsistent, winning, drawing, losing, but but getting the job done. And they actually, I walked into they could be they could be in the top four by five p.m. on Saturday if results go their way and they win this game at three o'clock. Stoke could be in the top four, which is extraordinary. Um, and you know, maybe that's something Mark Hughes might want to might want to register to his players. This is a great opportunity to really push on and uh, become established established in the top half of the table this this season. If I think, for me, I mean, look at the fixtures. They've beaten Man City. They've beaten Spurs. They've beaten Swansea. They've beaten Newcastle this season. And they haven't lost at home since mid-September in the league. So, uh, you know, they've having a really good season. This have some disappointing results against the smaller sides. That might, that might be a case here, definitely. But I'm happy to get involved with them. Burnley... Of course, won their first game of the season two weeks ago at home to Hull. Well done. I think everyone was quite happy to see that, apart from Hull fans. Um, and it's how they react to that. You know, perhaps if the game, um, it could certainly kick on the fact that they, they won their first game of the season. But you just think that international break came at the wrong time for Burnley. You know, after that first win of the season, it was a chance to build on that. Uh, and of course, they were, they were interrupted with the international break. Uh, will that have an effect here? I don't know. But. Um, like I say, I'm happy to back Stoke here. Burnley were very frugal at the start of the season in terms of the defence, but they've conceded over 1.5 goals in five of the last six league games. I think Stoke can capitalise that there, and I have to back them at uh, 7 to 10, 8 to 11. I think that is a. Uh, just has to be backed. Um, game three, I think I, des I think I, I, I deserve to put up a big price here after those first two shorties, so I'll go with one here that I feel. Uh, um, 
in Sunday's game, the four o'clock game on Sunday, and I think the Hull can beat Spurs here. I really believe that. Um, Hull have had a funny old season, haven't they? Let's be honest. They're doing in fifteenth place, but they've drawn at the Emirates, they've drawn at Anfield, and they scored twice against Man City, and it will be a losing fixture. But they've they've shown a lot of um, style, class, tack, and verve, and. Um, I've been, I've been impressed with them, but they are down in 15th position on the table. Why is that? Well, you know, they lost to Burnley uh, last time. They've only won two games this season in, in the league. Um, and, you know, you know the, that's what that's what ca- catches you up, I guess. But the table is quite compressed, and I'm not for one for a minute um, suggesting that they'll finish 15th in the table this year. I think they'll finish higher. I think it's no, it's, it's certainly conceivable that they could finish in the top half this season. We've seen that with a right, 0-0 draw at Liverpool. And they're unlucky to, 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 to fail uh, to, to drop points against Arsenal at 2-2 draw. They were leading right to the very end. I like Hull. I like their manager. I like their players. I like what they're all about. I like Andy Robertson. I like, I like what they're all about. And I think uh, I don't like Spurs at the moment. I, I just don't. I, I, you know... <laughs> I took them on against Stoke two weeks. We didn't have the ball, so just to back Stoke out right, but bought them an Asian handicap. It did come in, but you know I just think Stoke have sorry Spurs have thrown everything in, in, in previous campaigns to get in the top four. They just haven't done that this season, and I think that if they finish in the top six, that will be that will be a very satisfactory season for them. I just I just I just don't rate them at the moment. I just think I think they've got a quite a, a, a mediocre team t- to be honest. So I have to I'm gonna back Hull here because I think Hull on their day could be a match for for anybody and I think they're capable of winning here. At uh, twenty seven to ten we bet Victor at the KC at home to Spurs side in the bottom half of the table. So my three bets uh, Swansea to score against Man City seven to ten um, Stoke to beat Burnley at 7 to 10 and, and Hull to beat Spurs at 27 to 10. Have a great weekend.